Why does Chris Monroe leave? Five guesses. Hi everyone, the news came out this afternoon after the market closed. IONQ co-founder and chief scientist, Dr. Chris Monroe, is leaving the company. In after hours trading, the IONQ stock price slid 16%. In this short video, I will review the news for you and then share my view on it. Should we panic or not? The news. Let's quickly review the news. It says, IONQ announces senior leadership transition. IONQ today announced that Dr. Chris Monroe, chief science officer, will be leaving the company. As a professor at Duke University, Dr. Monroe will return to his academic, research, and policy pursuits. He will continue to lead research in quantum computing technology, educate the quantum workforce, and advise quantum institutes across the world. Sense the tone and sentiment. I've read this news release multiple times to sense the tone and sentiment conveyed. Honestly, the wording of this news seems quite neutral. There appears to be no disagreement between the company and Monroe. Why does Monroe leave? Why would Monroe leave when the company is financially robust and making good progress in product and market development? The company hasn't disclosed the reason, but here are five possible explanations. Number 1. Monroe's role in the company. As we know, Monroe's role in the company is that of chief scientist. He tackled problems at the theoretical physics level, which is the scientific part. The next step is engineering. Another co-founder, Yung Sang Kim, is responsible for this. Monroe has mentioned on multiple occasions that the scientific part has been resolved. For instance, on November 10, 2022, at the Bank of America AI and Disruptive Tech Conference, Monroe said, we're not relying on physics breakthroughs to scale up. It's more about control engineering, getting these atoms lined up, and laser beams. On another occasion, during a podcast on June 16, 2023, Monroe stated, for ion trap computers, our challenge is more engineering. The fundamental physics of the atom is finished. Our challenge is how to wire them. Optical challenges. From these comments, perhaps Monroe believes he has solved the problems he set out to, and it's time to move on. Number 2. Administrative burden as an executive of a public company. Another potential reason is the burden of being an executive of a public company. He's had to give many keynote speeches, interviews, and undertake business trips. From Monroe's perspective, these might not be the best use of his time, or he simply doesn't enjoy these demands. Number 3. Disclosure burden as an executive of a public company. As an executive of a public company, Monroe has had to disclose a lot of personal information, including his compensation, shareholding, trading, and even sensitive personal matters. For instance, according to an SEC filing dated January 13, 2023, he transferred about 2.5 million shares to his former spouse. This indicates a change in his marital status. Few would appreciate such personal disclosures. Number 4. Policy Pursuit The news release mentioned, Monroe will be returning to his academic, research, and policy pursuits. Policy pursuit might also be a reason for his departure. In 2020, both Chris Monroe and Jung Sang Kim were named to the National Quantum Initiative Advisory Committee, NQIAC, a committee created by the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy and the U.S. Department of Energy. Their goal was to ensure continued American leadership in quantum information science. After the company went public, in 2022, the White House reappointed 15 experts to the committee, but both Monroe and Jung Sang Kim were left out. I'm not sure why. Perhaps there might have been potential conflicts of interest. After leaving the company, Chris Monroe will have more time and freedom to accept public responsibilities and play a larger role in quantum related policy formation. Number 5 Wealth Monroe co founded the company in 2015. In less than 10 years, the company went public and has a market value of over $2 billion, based on the price before the after hours sell off. Monroe's personal wealth has also grown substantially. According to public information disclosed by IONQ, Chris Monroe owns about 3.8 million IONQ shares and a significant number of options. Here's a breakdown. On September 30, 2021, just before the IPO, 
he was awarded 6,534,138 shares in options to buy 1,866,064 shares at prices ranging from $0.16 cents to $2.40. On August 18, 2022, he was awarded 86,058 shares and an option to buy 128,534 shares at the price of $7.63. On August 15, 2023, he was awarded 333,731 shares as part of a special four-year front-load performance share unit award. With all the shares he owns, his personal wealth has reached a new level, which might allow him to pursue different interests. Summary The news was somewhat unexpected, and we don't yet know the exact reason for his departure. More information might emerge in the coming days. So far, I'm inclined to believe that it doesn't warrant overthinking or overreaction. Stay calm and observe.